We're back with the High Torque Lithium Series 2 Torque Gun. Now, we actually already reviewed this kind of on a basic level or kind of a 101 level. So you can catch that review. We'll definitely have a, a link in the description. You can, you can catch that review on our YouTube channel, on our website, uh, wherever you want to go to find that. Uh, we've also done several social media posts on this as well. So we wanted to come back and do kind of a level two, kind of a 201 level uh, review on this, or really not so much a review, more of a tutorial uh, as to some of the things that this torque gun can do, because it's much, much more than just being able to set the torque on a nut and leave it. Now, it definitely can do that up to uh, 3,000 foot-pounds right here from the, from the LCD screen on the back of the tool if you want to. But there are many more features that this is great at doing. Now this runs on a 36 volt battery. So it's a cordless unit, big battery sitting down here on the base. Uh, you have a trigger here and a directional lever just under that. Now it operates a lot like an impact wrench as far as having a trigger, having a directional lever. That, but that pretty much stops right there. This is not an impact wrench. Absolutely nothing like an impact wrench as far as the mechanism works. Now, does it torque down bolts or uh, run down bolts? Absolutely, but it does it different. Rather than a hammering effect, it actually uses the planetary gears like a transmission right here in the snout of this unit and in the motor of this gun. So uh, the motor is turning these planetary gears and creating an extreme amount of torque. Now, the cool thing is we're getting zero feedback. I shouldn't say zero but very little feedback in the handle. So as an impact wrench, just jumping all around and sometimes even wants to turn on you, this does not give any uh, you know, input or output to the, as far as the direction of the tool because of this right here. And this is what you'll call a reaction arm or a reactionary arm. Because we know, uh, you know, here are physics theories that say each action has an opposite and equal reaction. In other words, so as we're applying torque with the anvil here, we have a reactionary arm that's basically resting against something and providing that reaction for this. So instead of it impacting the tool, it's all happening right here between these two. This is turning one way, this is applying force the other way. So we have the action and the reaction all right here on the front of the gun. So very little feedback back here on the handle or to the input of the user. Now we covered a lot of that in the first video, but I just wanted to go over that once again if this is your first time with us. And again, I, I strongly encourage you to go back and watch that first video. Now we're gonna do a couple of things here. First, I'm just going to go to the tool and you'll see right here on the screen, it says 1200 foot-pounds. And it says, uh, it has the action or the, uh, the arrows of the nut right there telling me that's tightening, okay? If I switch, my directional lever, you'll see it goes to loosen and I can even set a, a torque for loosening or even for reverse thread bolts, I can set torque on that as well. So that's going to loosen something, I can switch it back and that's going to tighten something. Now I can just hold down my up and down arrow, it'll go pretty slow for the first 10 and then it'll jump on the 10s, then it'll jump hundreds and I can go you know, down to 500 foot pounds and I can go up as high as 3000 foot pounds. And I can even run it down to just snug things at below 500 foot-pounds. But as far as applying torque, it needs to be 500 foot-pounds and above. So I can definitely do it this way. Let's run this on up there to 1024. That sounds great. Okay, and I'll show you here. We're going to put our socket on here. This is a one-inch anvil. I'm not going to put my pin in there for right now. And you'll see here, I'm going to stick this reactionary arm. You know what? I'm going to stick it down like this so we can see it. So we see that reactionary arm down here. I'm going to pull the trigger and I have to push the button. That tells the computer and the gun that I'm ready to start. And now we'll see this arm start to move around and it's going to rest up under this other nut over here and provide that reaction. You know what? I'll turn it over here so you can see this. And you'll see it's going to go down against that bolt right there. Now 
and now it tells me that I'm successful. So you can definitely use it that way. Again, something we covered in the other video. Now I wanted to cover in this video what else High Torque has under their sleeve. I'm going to go to my apps here. I'm going to the High Torque app and High Torque Connect app. And I can go to the menu and connect a tool. Now once I go to connect the tool, there's my High Torque unit right there. I can click on that and I can say connect. And now it might take a second. We'll see this flash over here on the Bluetooth little icon. It goes through a configuration stage. So the tool just flashed. It tells me to update firmware. I'm not going to worry about that. So then it tells me kind of a breakdown of the tool, serial number, everything. And now I can go and here's all the things I can do on my app from basic bolting, advanced bolting, I can set jobs, bolting profiles, general sequence, wheel sequence, uh, and then I can go into settings. So a lot of things I can do right here on the app. Now, first thing up, let me just go to basic bolting and see if I have a job pop. So there's a job right there, torque snug, 1024. Let's just back that up. Let's say 1,200 foot-pounds, and let's go 10 degrees. So we're saying we're going to go to 1,200 foot-pounds, we're going to add 10 degrees of an angle. Then we're going to release 8 degrees because basically all that force will be sitting there on that nut and reactionary arm. You won't be able to pull that unit off. So it will release 8 degrees, which is not enough to loosen anything. It's just going to back that reactionary arm off. And also it tells me, or it's asking me, is it a right-handed fastener? Obviously standard fastener, yes. And I can put a job ID on there if I want to. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to activate the profile. And so right now, it just went from 1024 to 1200 foot-pounds on the tool here. Before we had it set at 1024, now it's set at 1200, and I can tell it, start job. So it's thinking for a second here, just flash the tool, and I know it's about ready. And what we'll see here, so we see this blank screen right here. As we use this tool, we'll see data starting to fill up right here. So again, we're going to use our reactionary arm right above this nut, pull the trigger, push the button, and you can see I'm only using one hand. So it did the torque, now it's going to do the angle, it's adding the 10 degrees of angle, now it's backing off 8 degrees, and now I'll pull it off. So that was just holding the finger on the, holding the, holding the, finger on the trigger, and it went to the torque sequence of 1,200 foot-pounds. I uh, added the 10 degrees of angle and then backed off 8 degrees so I could pull the tool off. So all that happened with me setting it here and you see what populated here on the app. It says uh, duration 30 seconds, uh, 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, and the results were good. If it were a bad result, it would tell me red, and I'll show you that here in one moment. So let me go to my next nut here. And I'm going to stop early. Okay, I let go. Number one, the tool is stuck on here because it started applying torque. And look here at my app now. It tells me incomplete. So I didn't reach the 1,200 foot-pounds. So the second sequence there only took 10 seconds. And it was incomplete. And by the way, without that release angle on there, I cannot get this tool off. You would ham you'd have to hammer this thing off because it's trying to apply all that force all that torque on that reactionary arm right now. So I can manually go into loosen, pull the trigger, push a button, back off that reactionary arm, and now I'm good to go. So that's cool, very simple bolting sequence, right? Okay, let's try something different. So let's go in here, and I'm gonna go to the menu, and I'm gonna come down here to wheel sequence, and when I go to wheel sequence, uh, then I'm going to, uh, let's just say start project, unsave changes, uh, no, don't want, yes, I want to leave, so let's leave, and so I've already got a bolting pattern in here, so let me back out of here, and I'm going to go to edit, just kind of show you what we can do here, I'm going to go to edit, so I've already created one that says STR wheels, um, and 
Also, I can put a vehicle ID. I put STR08 and description is truck. Uh, four wheels and uh, eight lugs per wheel. I can also uh, tell it whether or not I want it to have the, uh, the wheel position included. And I'm going to say yes, and you'll see where that comes into play in just a second. So I'm going to say next, and I'm saying the torque is 500 foot-pounds, and it's a star pattern. So I can tell it star, I can tell it linear or sequential, and so we're going to leave it on star. Tolerance is plus or minus 5%, and it's a right-handed fastener, and I'm on a release angle of 8 degrees. Say next, and save. Okay, so I've already created that, and I'm going to go and start that project. So here we are. I'm going to say start. And it asked me for odometer reading. I'm going to say uh, 325,000. Next. And now you can see I can tell it whether I want it left side, right side. And by the way, the tool just lit up too and changed to 500 foot-pounds. Before it was 1,200. Now it's already changing to 500. I can say left side, axle one. Okay. And now it's tell it, showing me the sequence of the wheel. So it's, remember we said we wanted a star pattern, so it tells me go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm just going to do it linear across here to set all these, but we'll see what happens as we use this app. Okay, so we've got our app set. Uh, we're on nut number one or lug nut number one. The wrench is already seeing 500 foot-pounds. Going to change out my socket since we have eight of these. I'm going to start right here, pull the trigger, hit the button here. Now once I let off this trigger, it says it's successful, you'll see it populate. Right there, 500 foot-pounds and OK. Now let's roll on to the next one. And you see where it shows this one was good and now it's telling me to go here. You see, I do this with one hand, no problem at all. You'll see it populate the second line. There it goes. Go to the next one. Again, once I release the trigger, we'll see it populate. So we've got three of them done. Go to the fourth one. Okay, so we've got half of them done so far. All of them have checked out okay. So now we see this wheel is done, it's completed. All of them have turned green and they all say okay down here. All of them torque gives you the time when it was done and I can go to next and now I can go to the next axle but what I'm going to do I'm going to skip the wheel skip that wheel you see it makes all that red next skip wheel next skip wheel and I'm going to say done and so now what I'm going to do I'm going to show you this I'm going to say data report Gonna to go to STR wheels, export, and save to files. Sure, I'll save to my downloads. And so now I can go to my downloads folders, or my recent files, there we go. And so here we've got a text file here, and you can see that it's got a line item for everything. So 500 foot-pounds all the way down, and then over here it tells me that those were all skipped. Tells me those were okay on that wheel, but the other wheels were all skipped. So there's an export of the data that we just created from the High Torque app. So tons of stuff you can do right here on the app. So this gun is much more than just a torque gun and definitely not an impact wrench. Hey, if you don't mind, would you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter? You can even find us on TikTok. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, would deeply appreciate it. And uh, hit that like button if you don't mind. Hey, if you hate hated our video, 
then give us a thumbs down, but let us know in the comments why. Have a great day. Keep smiling.